At first glance, this waterlogged world may not look like much. Yet wetlands are known to be one of the world's most productive ecosystems that are silently making habitable areas for us. With most of us now living in cities, urbanization has changed the composition of our ecosystems to make way for urban sprawl. In order to preserve and sustainably utilize these urban habitats, the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands developed a Wetland City Accreditation Program. In 2018, Ramsar designated Sri Lanka's low-lying capital city as one of the 18 Ramsar wetland cities, thus making it the only capital city in the world to be bestowed with this honor. These delicately balanced and productive habitats are home to a rich diversity of flora and fauna. The Ramsar wetlands in the Colombo metropolitan area are high in biodiversity. The remaining 20 square kilometers of these wetland clusters provide essential habitats for many threatened and endemic animal species. These habitats act as a refuge for migratory birds as well as some rare and endangered resident bird species. So far, more than 32 endemic animal species and 18 threatened species have been identified within these wetland clusters. Among them, there are several charismatic and elusive species such as the fishing cat, the otter, the world's largest tetrapod, the saltwater crocodile and the world's smallest wildcat, the rusty spotted cat. The presence of threatened and endemic species like the horadandia, the purple-faced leaf monkey and day's killifish highlight the ecological importance of Colombo's wetlands. Adding to this, over 400 species of plants have been recorded from these wetlands including a native critically endangered woody climber, Aganope heptophilia, recorded in only three sites across our island. Further to this diversity, wetlands provide humans with invisible contributions rendered to us by our natural environment via ecosystem services. One of many primary services provided by these habitats is their capability to absorb excess carbon in the atmosphere thereby helping mitigate the long-term effects of climate change. Functioning as a natural sponge, wetlands aid in reducing the impacts of floods in Colombo through trapping excess water and slowly releasing it as excess groundwater. Experts estimate that Colombo's wetlands store up to 30% of runoff during heavy rainfall events, thereby saving the government millions of rupees on flood mitigation. They also act as a silent lung within the city, combating the effects of Colombo's extensive traffic by purifying the air and buffering the negative impacts of airborne pollutants. Through absorbing these fumes, wetlands are able to regulate the quality of air we breathe. The maintenance of a healthy wetland ecosystem alleviates the spread of disease, while the presence of biodiversity in these habitats is a natural way of controlling pests such as mosquitoes. With diseases such as dengue affecting hundreds of citizens each year, minimizing the spread of mosquito larvae is a critical step in controlling the spread of the disease. Other ecosystem services provided by wetlands include water purification and acting as a nursery for biodiversity that reside within these habitats. Yet despite these invisible contributions that wetlands provide for free, these unique habitats are under threat. Do you know these wetlands are slowly dying, slowly suffering, and that they need our attention? As cities expand, we continue to fill our wetland habitats. Colombo's wetlands are no different. They are gradually shrinking. When a wetland shrinks, its optimal capacity is affected. The services it renders are also affected. Invasive valian species, both animal and plants, have invaded our wetlands, especially in urban areas like Colombo. You see the greenery, but if you really come close and have a look, you will see majority of it is really invasive alien species. We need to care about this because all these plants, animals, the soil and the biota that lives here have relationships 
when a new plant or a new animal comes and settles the relationship is disturbed protecting wetlands requires the understanding that development and conservation are not two things we need to understand while we expand and create livable landscapes in the city that we also should have a responsibility to protect our wetlands As part of the government's push to ensure the long-term conservation of these spaces, the Ramsar Convention, the Department of Wildlife Conservation, and other relevant stakeholders have taken a number of steps to bring these urban wetlands closer to you. We have implemented uh, several initiatives to restore and uh, conserve urban wetlands in Colombo Wetland Complex. Projects uh, such as to uh, manage and control invasive species such as Anona gabbra. which clogs uh, natural waterways and the development of uh, public infrastructure such as uh, walking paths and jogging areas around wetlands it helps to close a uh, life in wetlands to public multiple studies have highlighted the value of green areas in aiding the cognitive development of people living in cities with sri lanka being ranked as number 6 on the country's most vulnerable to climate change on 2020's climate risk index wetlands are essential to ensure the safety of colombo from flood related events we invite you to explore these magical spaces and experience the splendor that permeates through them by appreciating these wetlands and becoming stewards of these habitats we stand a better chance at preserving them for future generations of sri lankans